Listen, man, let me tell y'all something. Um, you tune into the right video at the right time, right? Because what I'm about to tell you, ain't nobody ever explained love like this, all right? So I'm about to explain what love is to you, all right? And to me. Because you feel the way I feel, but like I said, it's just, this is not popular. You know, this is, this is, this is not popular. I don't expect a lot of people to understand this. I just expect a lot of people to feel this, all right? Listen, I'm going to tell you, love is dangerous. Love is dangerous, all right? That's what they don't want you to know, you know? It's dangerous, man. And the reason why I say that is because you could literally have people that really, really like you, bro. Like, they want the best for you. Um, they want you to, to go to higher heights in life. Um, they can admire you. You could be their biggest inspiration. You could be their role model. Like, you don't know. Like, your friend that's with you probably hang with you because you you they role model. But I'm going to tell you, bro. It could be some skeletons in your friend closet about you. People can love you so much that they can grow to hate you. It's really real. And that's why I am so afraid of love. You know what I mean? I know how to love people unconditionally, despite their flaws and everything. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to just 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 loving somebody like individually, like personally for for themselves, that's one of the most hardest things for me to do because I know how dangerous it is. I know how dangerous it is. Um, shouts out to all the people out there who who are single. Shouts out to all the people who are in divorces or in divorce trying to get out. Shout out to all the people who went through a divorce and know how bad it hurts. You know what I'm saying? You remember, right? You, you remember. Listen, it's dangerous. You love somebody so much, so deeply. You committed yourself to them. You gave them your trust. <laughs> you gave them your, your everything. You gave them your time. You gave them, you gave them work. You know what I'm saying? You worked for this person. You did everything just so you can see y'all love develop into something monumental something bigger than what you can even imagine ain't that crazy how what happened at the end of the day now y'all not together no more y'all not together no more and i don't know maybe this person maybe this person was in your life for five years 10 20 i don't know you put your time and effort in this person and then guess what happened to you they, they betrayed you didn't they they betrayed you they probably cheated on you didn't they yeah they probably stole all the family investment, right? Did and went and go spend it on somebody else, right? You know what I mean? But they loved you though, right? That you thought that in your in your mind at the time, you thought this was the greatest thing that you could possibly ever experience. You thought you was doing something new. You thought you was on the road to riches. But listen, it ain't always like that when it comes to love. Love is dangerous, man. It's it's very dangerous. You can have people that love you so much, dog. That they be plotting to kill you. You know what I mean? And, and, and you probably say, why? why? Why do you hate me so much? Why don't you like me so much? Why Why do you look at my flaws versus looking at all of my greatest features? You know why they steady tuned into you? You know why they always reading your comments? You know why they always trying to figure out who you with and who you dating and where you going? You know why they always trying to figure this out? It's because they love you. But they can't be you. You mean so sometimes you, you gotta understand. It's people that love you that you don't even know about. Yeah. That girl that you seen today, bro, you done seen her what three times already? Bro, that's the universe showing you a sign. She been thinking about you. Don't nothing happen by mistake. Everything happens for a reason. You probably think the person that you think is hard to get with or, oh, my God, they are very, very attractive. I know they're out of my league. I know my my bank account is not big enough for them. Man, look, that person probably seen you and was like, oh, my God, I wish I could be with you. But guess what? They ain't never going to tell you that. They ain't never going to tell you that. And see, that's another thing you got to understand, folks. Love is also blind. It's also blind. You know what I mean? Some people are in love with you and you don't even know it. You, you can't even see it. They won't even say nothing about it because they know how dangerous it is. You see what I'm saying? 
It's dangerous. Love will get you messed up. You know what I mean? Love will blow you up, you know, and then the same people that help you blow up and show you love, same people that showed you appreciation, the same boss that gave you a promotion be the same boss that turn around and fire you. Why? Because, because your boss even love you. But your boss love you so much that they think that you better than them. Your boss love you so much, they think they start to have favor in you. Your own managers, your higher ups, they start having favor in you so much. They hired you. They promoted you. They raised you. They put you on to the beat. They did all this stuff for you. And since they since they did all this stuff for you, they begin to realize they, they raising up something that's bigger than what they wanted you to be. And now they plotting against you at your own job that you bust your butt for blood shedding tears every single day just to get a paycheck, just so you can live life, just so you can have a roof over your head and feed yourself and feed your kids. Now they hate you. Why? Because they love you so much. Yeah. You probably be like, yo, why, why they, why they giving me so much hate? They be watching you on live. They looking at your live. They looking at you when you, when you post stories. They, they commenting on your pictures on Facebook. Uh, why you at that? Uh, uh. You probably ask yourself, if you don't like me so much, why are you? Why do you waste your valuable time in your day to write a toxic comment on something that I'm doing that has nothing to do with you? You know why they do that? Because they love you. They love you. They wish they could live the life that you live in. They wish they could have the body that you have. She wishes she could do it like you do. She wishes that she had the charm and the beauty that you have. But she don't have it. But she your friend. She loves you. Y'all hang out together. Y'all giggle together. <laughs> Y'all drink wines together. Y'all tell each other's deepest, most darkest secrets to each other. But that same friend, it's funny because that same friend will be the one who betray you like Judas, sell you out for some coin. That same friend. That's why I'm saying love is a beautiful thing, but it's also dangerous. It's also dangerous. This is what they don't tell you. This is what they don't tell you. They told you to go to school and get you a college degree. They told you to graduate. Zuma cum laude, valedictorian, honor roll, PhD, bachelor's. Yeah, come on. We'll throw a party for you when you graduate, as a matter of fact. But it is crazy because when you start to actually get into the real world and you start working, and then you get down and out and you start struggling, the same people that was at your graduation party, the same people that, that congratulated you on your journey through school, be the same people that start to show their true colors and show you how much they don't like you. Why? Because they love you so much. Love is dangerous. When people say they in love with you, you better be afraid. And you better call on God and say, God, Please protect me, God. Please give me the, the armor. Because I'm telling you, when people start to fall in love with you, it becomes dangerous. You wanted to be successful. You created a business. You created a brand. Now your brand is feeding thousands and supplying millions. Now you got a brand. Now all of a sudden, as soon as you do something they don't like, the people that love you, your fans, your own fans. You know, the ones that were shouting for you. Pom pom. Yeah, yeah. Same fans. Be the same fans that spread a rumor about you and make something controversial about you and turn on you and tell you tell everybody in the world about your business because they know you so much, right? They've been there with you thick and thin. Y'all been together year after year after year after year. And since they can't get what they want that one time, because they love you, 
They gonna throw you up under the bus. They gonna throw you right up under the rug. And they gonna tell everybody about y'all personal business that was once upon a time a secret because they love you. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. They said they loved you though, right? Yeah. That's. But you know what they say? This is love. This is love for me to you. Me slandering you. Me cursing you out. Me punching and fighting you. Throwing wine on you. <laughs> yeah. Me leaving you out to dry. Me keeping your kid away from you. Me. You know what? Me. Me, 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 me. This is love. I love you. They say. And the crazy thing about it is. Other people who love you too. But they ain't gonna tell you. They gonna vouch for that person. They gonna vouch for that friend. They gonna vouch for the victim. And they gonna say, you know what? Maybe they have a point. Maybe that is their way of showing love to you. By hurting you. Yeah. Have you ever thought about that perception? Yeah. That's, that. Maybe they're right. Maybe you need to stop thinking so hard. Maybe... Uh, anger is their way of loving you. Yeah. Let them hurt you. Let them abuse you. Bro, let her just continue to talk junk to you all the time. You know why she's talking junk to you? You know why she's so toxic? You know why? Because she loves you. It's dangerous, y'all. And I just made this video to, to help, to help y'all understand that it's a double-edged sword. The word of love is a beautiful thing. Don't get me wrong. All right? It's a beautiful thing. But I just understand the L-O-V-E part of it. I mean, sorry, excuse me, the L-O-V part of it. Because I'm love. I'm L-O-V. All right? I just don't understand the E. You understand what I'm saying? Because when somebody loves you and then they hate you at the same damn time, I don't know what to think about that. That's scary. That's dangerous. You know? And like I said, you could become the type of person that begins to become so comfortable with yourself. You, you, you have self-love, right? Because that's the only way you can attract real love is when you have self-love, when you have done the healing on the inside. You've tried to put some band-aids on your, your wounds and You've tried to do the best you can to try to make sure that nobody else is the problem except for you, right? I'm not the problem. You're the problem. That's what you used to say when you didn't love yourself. But once you start to have self-love for yourself and you have, you know, taking responsibilities for your own actions, then you stop playing the blame game. You stop pointing the fingers. You stop playing the victim role. <laughs> so who really needs healing here? People that say that they love you? Because you're attracting them into your life. Because you finally love yourself. What are they really attracted to? Are they attracted to a person who's fixed? Who's improved themselves? Because they're still broken? They need help? Do they need you to be their doctor? Is that what love is really all about? They want you to be their doctor, huh? Yeah. So they say they love you. You know why they say they love you? Because they want you to fix them. Like... You fix yourself, right? And then when you do fix them, okay? When you do fix them, they're going to finally taste a little bit of the spotlight about how good it is to be self-love. Because, you know, when you have self-love, it makes you think that you can do it all by yourself, right? All right. And then when they finally get a little taste of the spotlight of how it feels to be healed and not to be broken anymore because you helped them. You've healed them. Now they have that good love for themselves that they always yearn for. And this is when, this is when they tell you, you're the bad guy. You're the bad guy. I'm better than you now. You know why? Because I love you. Because I'm finally able to love myself. Hmm. It's tricky. You tell me. Speak up, let your voice be heard. Leave a comment below what you think about this video. Do you love hard? Do you put your heart on your sleeve and do you love wholeheartedly? 
Has love done you wrong in the past because you found that I love too hard? I, I'm loving too good, man. My, I got good love. I'm ready for somebody to love me. Do you love so hard that it's always put you in a dangerous situation? It's always put you in a situation to where it's like, man, I can't believe this is what I get in, in return for my love. I am tired of being heartbroken. What about you? Speak on let your voice be heard. Leave a comment below, man. It's your big brother, Trend Genius. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Just a, 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 some food for thought, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.